Okay, so I guess we are live. I was probably silent for a bunch of that at the beginning because I wasn't sure. But anyway, as you can see, I've got exactly 5 AP enough to do this quest, which forces you to use Void Shiki support, which makes sense because she can. She basically trivializes the quest. But for this one, my plan is to do a Da Vinci solo, uh, or it's not a true solo because Wojciki is there, but goal is, well Wojciki will die eventually just from random hits over time, and this is going to be a long fight anyway, and I won't use Wojciki's MP uh, whether or not I get it. Uh, so I've tested some ways to do this, and you'll see this. Uh, and I think this is going to work. Uh, we'll see, though. I might have to do multiple tries, which I really don't want, because each try take can take so long. Anyway, let's give this one a shot. So, I'm going to adjust the audio a bit, I think. Uh... Oh, we'll see. Once the actual game... Oh, here we go. So I think that's actually pretty good. And... So there are a couple things I'm going to focus on, which are the timings of the guts and the heal skills. And now, I'm going to pop these skills, let's see, refresh. Yeah, let's just go ahead and aim for the front ghost for now. And well, I'm going to start some music. So I'm not going to use Da Vinci's NP, or her first skill now, but I'm going to use her NP. Usually it's good to use her first skill along with her NP because the first skill provides her, I believe it's an NP damage buff, at least provides a damage buff, among other things, but it's RNG based. I'm not sure if even the guts is RNG based, I think only the guts might be non-RNG. Yeah, the fact that the ghosts heal themselves 10k, they can do up to 30k per turn, I guess. That's kind of annoying. So this is where I'm going to use uh, Da Vinci's first skill along with her MP because that way her guts will still be up at the point when... actually this, this round doesn't matter because I'm actually going to use the dodge to avoid the enemy NPs. So. And actually, so far right now, it's not a solo. So I've, like I said earlier, I attempted this a few times with different CEs and such, just trying to figure out if it was possible. And there, it hasn't been very consistent when Void Shiki goes down. Because eventually, obviously, she does, but the RNG is obviously RNG. And so for a good portion of this fight, or a good portion of the beginning of this fight, it's just going to be... It's going to be a duo rather than a solo. But I believe... <laughs> 
Unless RNG goes some truly crazy, it's gonna be a solo for far longer than it's gonna be a duo. For example, right now. Yeah, I'm gonna use both of the skills now. Early on, I can afford to do this. Later on, I'm gonna have to save her second skill for right after the enemy NPs because I want her to start healing right after she comes back from guts. But for now, she has enough HP. Everything's 10% even. Yep. So maybe one of them might crit. The odds of at least one of them critting was something like almost 30%, not quite. But. Range. So again, I'm not gonna use her. Yeah, so instead of using her NP now, I'm gonna do that. Next turn, I'll use her first skill and her NP, so her NP will be buffed. And now, this time, the guts will play a factor. And I do wonder if there... There might be a decent amount of RNG factor in this solo, so it, it, just because of how long this fight goes, it might be inevitable that I lose at some point, I'm not sure, depending on both the enemy behavior and also just how often Da Vinci's first skills effects go off. Cause I believe all of them except Gut the Guts is are RNG based. They are what, something like eighty percent? Or is it sixty percent at max level? I don't remember which. But it is a majority, so most of the time they do work. RNG is RNG. See, so, yeah, I'll use the NP. <clears throat> so, yeah, as a general strategy here is just to NP as often as possible while keeping her guts for when the ghosts NP. Now, the ghosts NPs can desync uh, because of the guts. I've seen that, ha I've had that happen last time that I tried it. And that's that's still manageable, but I'm not sure how far that can be taken in terms of how far a desync is allowed. Because I don't have many ways to control the sync. All right, so here I'll actually still use both of these skills, and I'll use the Mystic Code heal because the heal has a low enough cooldown that I it's using it early so that I can maximize its use isn't a bad idea. So yeah, so she does about... So my Da Vinci's MP1, and I'm pretty sure whether it's MP1 or MP5 doesn't really make a difference in if it's possible, but 
it does make a significant difference, I'm sure, in how long it takes. Probably makes about a 66% difference, you might say. Okay. Uh, actually, let's attempt the crit. Okay. Maybe make okay. some crit start. Up anyway. And yeah, again here I think I'll save for NP for next turn. In the meanwhile, I'll do that. Hope for a crit. But either way, I'll make crit stars. Yeah, so now I can use her guts. And I'm still actually one turn away from the attack buff, so I can't use it now, but that's okay. She does have pretty good NP gain, I'll give to <laughs> I mean, she's got two skill, two different skills that provide passive NP gain. Without having to use her cards and... Her cards actually offer decent NP gain. And because her, her own NP is an arts, you can arts chain, although I guess the arts chain doesn't really matter when you're doing it with yourself. Uh, yeah, let's go for the crit attempt again. With how long this solo attempt has to be, I think. I'm gonna just try to roll the crit dice as often as possible. The more I roll, just the shorter the fight gets. Okay, so they'll NP. And I got the guts to protect me. And I don't need to arts chain here. So I'll roll the crit dice again. I mean, uh, technically a Buster Arts Arts would do more damage. And the crit odds are low enough there so I don't really want to necessarily take that into account. But yeah, having the quick at the end provides the uh, more crit stars next turn, obviously. Alright, so now she's... Yeah. Very low health, so I'm gonna need to start healing. And one turn away from that. I think she can survive one more turn with the heal. Uh, yeah, I'll save the attack buff for later to go along with her guts. And yeah, I'll do that. So I have on her. Is it Made in Halloween with uh, Max Limit Broken, which provides the 75% healing buff, which I believe is unique among CEs in terms of providing a buff to self heal. Like that. Certainly, it's the highest if there are similar ones. Alright, so she survived that. You can use the heal. Keep her alive until the next time they NP, but the next time they NP, I'll use the dodge. And what I'll do now is I'll save. Uh, yeah, I'll use the arts chain here because I'm positive she can make full NP with the arts chain. Her first skill will come off cooldown now. Yeah, I'll be able to use that along with the damage buff and get a nice little powerful NP off. Okay. 
I didn't really... So, you know, one thing with this fight, the Mystic Code, I, I thought about using the Atlas Academy Mystic Code, but decided against it because it offers no healing. And even though Da Vinci has her own healing, it's not that strong, and it's only one skill, and it's up... What, like three-fifths of the fight? I don't know if it's half or three-fifths, but in any case, it's not up 100%. So having any extra to add on is really helpful, I think. So I I haven't even attempted it with the Atlas Academy Mystic Code so far. Man, I wonder how many times she'll have NP by the time I finish this, if I finish this. Yeah, the... the her first skill offering... Uh, the defense buff, which uh, again is on an RNG, is very nice too for a fight like this. Every little bit helps to keep the chip damage low. And so they're gonna MP, which means I'm gonna dodge. And I'll MP. And try to cycle again. Oh yeah, this is Saori Hayami singing this. The voice of... Uh, what voice in f She has a very soft voice which sounds similar to Mamiko Noto, I would say. She's a bit younger Mamiko Noto. This point. Yeah, what I'll do is I'll use this now. But okay, so yeah, it's only up half the time. And I'll roll the dice with the crits. Cause I need her to survive until the next time they MP, which is five turns from now. I'm not sure if she can do that with the amount of HP she has. Yeah, yeah. So, I'm saving her first skill for two turns from now. And the Mystic Code heal for right after the NP, because most likely that'll be when she has to use the guts and will be at low HP. So I'm gonna try to cycle her NP so that I use her NP now and then I'll use her NP again the next turn. Because her third skill is going to come off cooldown next turn. And if, if that last card crits, she'll definitely get 50%. If it doesn't crit, uh, I don't know. No crit. Okay, that came close. Yeah, still had that skill going, so. Okay, aim it with the damage. So now I'll use both of the skills. Yeah, so the defense buff missed, which is a bit annoying. But it is more of a nice bonus than a necessary thing. The guts really is the only truly necessary part, I guess. It's a good thing. But the guts is non RNG. It always works.
So it's a check. So it's a, it's each NP does about 30k. It's about 30 NPs to do a million. Let's see, so skill cooldowns. Yeah, so she's gonna survive until next turn at least, that's for sure, and she'll have the guts. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah, do that. So yeah, 30k for... So 30 NPs for a million means to get 6 million, that's 180 NPs. And it's 6.6 .6 million, or 6.666. Okay, so... Yeah. I kind of wish I could use those ones with the crit stars, but I want to go for the arts chain just to try to get her MP up again. So. Yeah, so this is when they're gonna get desync their NPs, because the, that last one's not gonna NP until. So, this. Well, <laughs> provides. This provides a little. some more difficulties, but it's manageable. Because I can tank the one NP. Now here is um, somewhat dangerous territory, I'd say. Because I'm gonna need to use the guts a in a couple turns. I can't use it now. And the Mystic Code heals on cooldown. I am healing at least, auto healing. But it's not that much. Oh, nice, crit miss. It's one nice thing about her NP. This. Let's do that. So now the time I'm gonna use the, this the KR server. Yes, um, Akiza 15. Yes, it is the Korean server. This is like the second to last day of the Karana Kyokai rerun in the Korean server, because the Korean server started the rerun a week after NA. So now I'm not going to use the guts now. I'm still waiting for the next turn so that it, it can apply for both. And I'll roll the dice with the crit You know, you roll the dice often enough with the 10 and 20% crit, sometimes they crit like that one. <laughs> Now is the time I'll use the guts, and luckily it matches up with the, some of the skills, so do a good chunk of damage here. Try to charge that NP up again, I think she might be able to NP back to back if either of those crit. Yeah, so with those buffs, that was like a 55 kill per. Which reduces it from. Which is like, yeah, 67% more. Just curious if how long it would take to kill one ghost with the Merlin Waver and an MP1 Kiruke. Yeah, you know, that's something I thought I, I could try with my MP2 Kiruke. Because what I have, but thought 
kind of want to try a solo, because this is kind of fight that it's... I don't really imagine a solo working for this fight. I don't know if other people have tried it, maybe it's just a well-known solo. I don't know, but it seemed like it should be in theory possible. Oh, 78 turns, it was awful. Well, well, let me tell you, I'm pretty sure I'm going to go way past 78 turns in this. I might be closer to 780 turns than 78. Oof, okay, so... Ah, one nice thing is you don't get desynced again. Um... Because the that guy's NP bar takes up. Oh, 78 turns for one ghost. Okay, so yeah, I might be closer to that then, but still, I'll be slower. Let's see. So here, I'm actually worried. Gonna... Uh... Yeah. So here's what I'll do. I'll use the dodge to protect her from the NP. And I'll use the Arts Chain so that she can NP. Man, 78 turns for one ghost. Yeah, there's no way I'm gonna beat one ghost in 78 turns. Well, let's see, if we do the math... It's been 37 turns. Maybe I'll wait for uh, an easier number to divide by. So I'm gonna save that Mystic Code uh, heal for right after the NP again, but that's gonna take a little bit of luck, maybe. I'm not sure. So he, this is a kind of time when when the ghost heals is actually something I like seeing. <laughs> I prefer it because I'm trying to really minimize the damage she's taking as much as possible. Uh, actually, let's try this, I think. She might be able to get her NP up even without the arch chain. Oh, with the crit. Oh, nice. Double crit. Oh, okay. With the skill. So, I still need to wait one turn to use the guts. But in the meanwhile... Actually... Uh, yeah, I'll use the guts along with the NP next turn. This turn, let's hope this crits. Right, so that's 40 turns, and I've done 1.8 damage in that range. 1.8 million. Uh, that's 180,000 divided by 4. It's, uh, So yeah, here's where I'll... So yeah, 180,000 divided by 4, that's 90,000 divided by 2, that's 45,000. Have I really been doing 45,000 return on that? Is it just the NPs uh, that are really... Because when I do an NP Brave Chain, that does do more than 45,000. Uh, anyway, at that rate, that's still like a hundred more turns left. <laughs> I'm not even halfway done with the, the first Gust. Okay, so those guys will NP. And do I wanna... No. no, I'll save the NP charge for a different turn, but I will use the Let's chain now. Nice, 40% crit. 
Now here's where I'll use both the heals. Unfortunately that leaves me a little dangerous for the next NP. But we'll see how I deal with that later. So the hope is here with the amount of HP she'll have, especially with the passive one she gains from the second skill, she will survive the end straight up. I guess I could get unlucky and the one of the enemy ghosts crits, but I'm hopeful that with all the uh, crit down debuffs, that won't happen. <laughs> yeah, got the crit miss. Yeah, I think actually, I feel like the NPing often is pretty important for keeping our HP up because keeping the enemy from critting. Just here's where Da Vinci's really playing with fire. She's in a lot of danger here because even with the guts, right after the guts, she doesn't have that much HP, and so she can get killed. And so having the heals, heal skills off cooldown is pretty important. Um, a little bit dice with the crits. This is also what should do the most damage. Asteroid starts. Regardless of the crits. Again, I'm saving the first skill for the next turn, so here I'll once again do that. Save her NP and the first skill for the next turn. So right now, approximately one third of the way through the first ghost. Uh, yeah. But, I mean, I knew this uh, was what I was signing up for, so I'm not blaming anyone for uh, except myself. I just thought this would be a, a thing to try, and I, I've been thinking about it all week, and on the one, I've, all the way up until today, I wasn't sure if I was going to do it, because it sounded both... It sounded like it could be hellish, and it sounded like it could be a lot of fun. So far it's been proving to be both. I'm, I'm guessing it's gonna be more hellish as it goes. Because, remember, we're not even halfway done. <laughs> like, no, nowhere near halfway done. Alright, so I'm gonna rely on the guts. Yeah. It's pretty lucky that the arts got all the red stars. Yeah. So the guts actually didn't activate, which means I can count on the guts. Ah, uh, well, actually. Yeah, she's mostly likely gonna die to one of the hits from the first two. So I'll activate this now. And... I'll use the Wow, 
the guts actually wasn't needed, but... Yeah. <laughs> okay, so now I can use the dodge for the next time that they end he, which is good. And he again, that's really what I want to do over and over again. Got the Christmas. Actually, I should be able to cycle her MP one more time, I think, before... Uh, okay, I might have wanted to go for a more damage with the base one. Oh well. Yeah, so even with the crit down debuff, if you can see, they they will crit, and that is very dangerous in this fight. So I will save the MP for next turn, as usual, and I will d do it with the Mystic Code damage buff. And I've been doing the math in my head while the game animations go, it does seem like I've been doing about 45 in that range, 45k. 40 to 50k damage per turn. So, yeah, that means I still have almost 100 turns left at this rate, and I don't see myself speeding up. <laughs> Yeah, that, that's the kind of thing that would see a drastic reduction, like from 100 turns to something like 70 turns or 67 maybe, from MP1 to MP2. Yeah. Is it that, or maybe it feels a little smaller? But in any case, yeah, it's a, still a pretty sizable reduction. Uh, mine's only MP1, and because I never really pulled for Da Vinci, I just got her in the guaranteed... Gotcha. The one that had the full pool of all s five star servants, I think. Uh, okay. I'll try to get the NP up again. Yeah. yeah she's got such good NP game, really. Was, what was she at? 40%? Went up to 100? Guts, and they will MP. I'll use the team, but I will also use the dodge now. And yeah, the chain. So she will gain a decent amount of uh, HP over the next couple of minutes. Oh, hello Mordred 1996, Da Vinci solo? Yes, it is a Da Vinci solo, or an attempt anyway, we'll see how well this goes. Thank you for hosting me. <laughs> Instafa. <laughs> yeah, thanks, yeah. I mean, I can't say I'm necessarily that huge a fan of Da Vinci, I do love her voice actor. But, she's somebody I thought was capable of doing a solo of this. And so I thought I'd give it a shot. Uh, I'm gonna try to get the NP up with the Arts Chain. Yeah, I'm, I am very glad that I got her on the GSSR. Like, I wasn't expecting her, I wasn't necessarily hoping for her, but she's really good. And, like, the character is lovely. So, and, like I said, I love the, the voice actress. Maya Sakamoto. Of course, she voices my white actual waifu, which is Shiki. I wonder how lowly Da Vinci is, the 
I think she's a writer when she comes out later. But I think there might still be like over a year in NA before she comes around. Okay, so still don't want to use the guts until next turn. In which case... Uh... Yeah, I'll roll the dice with the um, crits now. And... Next turn, I think... I can use the... card and have her NP along with the first kill. And this so yeah, I hope the first kill offers... Uh, got the defense buff up at least. And... Uh, don't want to waste the NP charge on that much NP. Yeah. Since I didn't get the attack buff up anyway, it doesn't really matter. So here... Yeah, let's try making some crit stars this way. Almost halfway through the first ghost. Alright. So they will NP. Use the guts. Yeah, so I think what'll happen is that the middle ghost will get synced with the late ladder ghost. Now use NP charge later. No. Yeah. Yeah, thanks for the advice, Mordred. That's what I ended up doing anyway. Now I'll use the NP charge. I'll make some stars too. And so yeah, what I think will happen is that will activate the guts. Yep, and the middle and the right ghost are now synced. Which means... Oof. Now I need to tank two NPs here. That... This might be where this run ends. But this is the best I can do. Just give her... She's gonna be at 10k. She's gonna have to tank two of their NPs at once. We'll see. This is going to be close. I think if she survives, she's going to be left with like 2k in that range. Okay. Actually, yeah, it might be... Yeah, it's actually... No. I way overestimated. <laughs> so she started at 10k, so did less than 5k. So let's say if one of the... If the initial hit had critted, it could have been like 7, 6k or something. Now I have to go need advance in the history of FBO Sia. Alright. Yeah, Sia, thanks for coming by. So, let's see. So, I can't use any of the skills. and But at least she's healing every turn for now, thanks to the skill. So she'll keep going. But the thing is, the next time they NP, I won't have the luxury of being able to use that Mystic Code heal right before, so I won't have quite as much HP to tank it. So it's gonna be more of a roll of the dice. Oh yeah, it's definitely gonna be quite a roll of the dice, I think. So, I'll use that. She should be able to NP next turn. She does that. Right. Still saving that for the next turn. So. So, yeah, next turn I'll use the first skill along with 
Da Vinci Zen here, which will hopefully be buffed. So now next turn, so this turn she'll get some hits, but she shouldn't need the guts. Next turn they'll get an here, which I think will trigger the guts. Yeah, and then, then that's when the real fun begins. Alright, let's see if she can hold this off. In two turns she'll be tested. that so that she can NP next turn. I am getting some pretty good rolls with these picks. Some of them that are... Oh, interesting. Did it trigger the guts? Oh wow, that is very lucky. Holy cow. So, now what I'll do is... Still a little bit troublesome because what's gonna happen is that the first NP of the next two is gonna trigger the guts. Which I think might make it so far desync that I can't manage this. I'm not sure. I haven't, in my previous attempt where I got to over 100 turns. Oh, wait. Okay. My, the desync hadn't gotten to this quite like this. It, it, it was the back two were ahead and the front one was one behind the back two. That was the case the whole time. So... So I'm not sure, exactly sure how to properly handle this situation where there's only one guy in front, basically, ahead among the ticks and two right behind him. But the next time they MP, I should at least be able to use the evade. So that puts a little less pressure. Get a decent amount of HP. Uh, roll the dice with the crits with the arts chain. She'll get her and Alright, so we're halfway through the first ghost. So basically, we can expect to kill the first ghost at around 140 turns in that range. So I'm still saving that. Saving the first skill for next turn so that the guts can... Although I guess this time it doesn't really matter. Could have used it. I uh, nah, really should have. I need to pay better attention to that. So now we've gotten to almost exactly halfway, so it's like at 71 turns. But almost exactly halfway to the first ghost. Now, that doesn't mean we're a sixth of the way done, because at least we are doing damage to the other ghosts over time with the AoE MPs. You can see it's stacking up pretty decently, so that's done almost a million actually. Well, it's done about 700k, which is over a tenth, so, you know, it's doing a decent chunk. 
Alright, so the front one's gonna NP. Probably won't trigger the guts, actually. But next turn, I'll use the dodge so to avoid the... Both in uh, the front guys in okay, didn't trigger the guts. Yeah, so I'll start healing right away. I'll use the dodge now. And hopefully I can keep cycling here. I do also wish that Da Vinci's NP interlude has already happened, because it hasn't, and the interlude would add a good chunk of damage and could, uh, speed up the damage dealing process. Ooh, some crits here would be nice. 70%. Nice. He's got 70%. Too. Try making some crit stars this way. Can just roll the dice. Nice. Just make crit stars, but a crit, which allowed me to fill up the MP. I'll save the MP for next turn, as usual. You can see that the, there's a cycle to this fight, that it's everything's slightly off sync actually by one turn, it feels like things are left waiting by one turn, which I guess having a little bit of buffer like that helps. Uh, there are other things where it's exact by the exact turn, so there's no, no room for error. Yeah, right now, here is a point where I have no room for error, so I'm gonna use this. Oof. I wish I'd gotten the do the defense buff. At least I got the uh, attack buff. Or, or the NP damage buff. Still saving the Mystic Code heal for right after this turn, because I'm afraid that the guts is gonna go off. In which case, I need all the heals that I can get. Yeah, the guts is going off here. Yeah, so with 10k she should be able to... Actually, it's not gonna be... Oh, yeah, it is gonna be 10k. She should be able to tank both NPs. It's fine. What I'll do is go for the crits. Roll the dice there. Oof, yeah! So we are over the hump for the first ghost. <laughs> Please finish that. Nearing the two-thirds marker. The two-thirds marker will be when it has 2.2 million. Tank those, but yeah, now she has quite low HP. Okay. 
Yeah, not right now might actually be the most precarious position. I feel like I've been at this position before, and that's when I said that, and I'm not sure how I managed to survive, but obviously I did. So, figure that out. Ah, the crit. Yeah, the okay. do that. Um, should allow her to NP next turn. And then go to cycler NP again. I'm gonna need some good RNG with the enemy crits here. Some good RNG with the crits here would be nice too. Not, not so much expecting that actually. And actually, yeah, without the crits, she probably won't be able to cycle her MP. This might not work out quite as well as I want, but... Now this solo is more about survival than keeping the damage up anyway. It's like, keeping the damage up is important. Of course, but... Yeah, the survival part is... Way more significant. Okay, good. Got the defense buff. That is pretty key here. Getting that defense buff up. And okay. do that. I think that sh that'll get her NP up. You can use the NP and then use the self charge after that. Okay, just not, but it is. ah, all three attacked. That's annoying. So this is going to be somewhat easier to handle once I kill that first ghost, but I'm not sure if I'll get to the point where I kill that first ghost, that's one thing I'm worried about. Yeah, I think the end is definitely going to do more than 1.8. So I can at least... <laughs> oh man, this is a hilarious situation with these Mystic Code skills. Oh well, so all I can do is use the heal and hope for the best that she's gonna be able to survive. That 4.75k is... And that's going to be close, based on what I r recall from last time. They did do almost... well, it wasn't... it was less than 4.5k. But, depending on the damage RNG for all three of these attacks... Gonna, yeah. Oof, oh my god. <laughs> uh, wow, so the RNG was just barely enough. <laughs> so, so next round I can use the dodge, but man, alright, so... I don't know, I need to find a way to avoid that next time, and I'm not sure how. It's like... What can I, is there something I can keep in reserve to make that happen? Because... If the roll, I mean, 123 is well within the RNG range for the damage, so if I get a bad roll, that's it. And I'm gonna get that, have to make that roll at least a, a few more times. Yeah, see, I don't know where I have the, the extra slack. 
that I can save something for that situation. Yeah, having a stronger Da Vinci also wouldn't really help. Regardless of how high your HP or high high how high your max HP or your attack is, once you hit zero, you hit zero. And the CE I'm using to improve the heals is really the only effect and I'm using the best one there is. So this way I'll be able to use the MP next turn. Although, yeah, well, right now I couldn't use the MP anyway. Nice. That defense buff is really key. <laughs> This fight. Right now she's at 3,000 which is, you know, it's like I wouldn't feel comfortable having her lower than that. Just with the guts, obviously, th that's okay. So I'll let that trigger the guts. And this, she will get her NP up here. So it seems that with the arts chain, if none of them crit, but it would have reached 100 anyway. But it seems to do around like 57 or something. Ooh, okay. Damn. So guts. So now she sh should be able to get a decent chunk of it. Maybe? Maybe I need to somehow save the Mystic Code heal for later. Yeah, I'm gonna see what I can do about that. The Mystic Code heal. Yeah, the more I use the NP, the more I stack the crit down debuffs. Although I've never been able to stack it th 3x. Keeping that stack is pretty good. That's a factor that doesn't really isn't isn't controlled at all by the NP level of the server. Too, so. Yeah, really, it's like, if I can't do it with this, then it might be that, well, at the very least, the strength of Da Vinci isn't uh, the factor. Maybe what I need to do is heal her now. Is that right? If that works. Because the heal cooldown is 7 turns. Not 3 turns. So I'm rolling the dice now because I know I'm gonna. the dice are gonna get rolled anyway later. So what I'm gonna do is give her the heal now. Just. And it should cycle by the time the enemies NP again, not the next time they NP, but the next time after that. And that's when I want 
they heal, we need to heal again. But for now, I want them... Ah, damn, crits! Okay. It was pretty important that they not... That they do as little damage as possible. Alright, come on, get the defense buff. Ah! The defense buff missed! Oh no. Okay. So I just got very unlucky in a lot of ways. But at least here they'll have the crit down diva. For whatever that's worth. My hope here is that the guts doesn't get activated. Until the next turn. Ah, damn crit! <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Come on! Damn, the RNG gods are angry with me right now, it seems. Uh, yeah. Man. Four out of their last six attacks, which, by the way, not all of them had to be attacks. They could have chosen to heal themselves, but they didn't. So crits. Yeah, you crit. But anyway, even with the crit, survived.
not have figured out how to do it, but I'm not sure how it would be possible if it is. Let's see, so I'll go to use that. And this should allow her to empty next turn. But yeah, in the meanwhile, this run's still going, so I'm gonna stick with it, do my best. Use the dodge now. How long is the cooldown? 13. Yeah. yeah, I think. Imagine losing at the very last moments. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know. To be honest, right now at this point, I'm fully expecting to lose this battle. In which case, I'll come back with Void Chicken and just end it. Dodge. Do I dodge now or save that for later? She can tank the NP, but she's gonna have very low HP. Yeah, I'll use that now. Now, if I do manage to kill the front ghost, that would change things quite a bit, but the front ghost still has so much HP left that it's gonna take too long. I'm not gonna finish it off anytime soon, still probably at least 30 turns left. Damage for one turn is pretty clutch. Cycle the MP. Get that crit damage uh, or crit uh, probability down. So I think her healing runs out here. Yeah. So almost 7k. Damn crit. Come on. Stop. Stop with those damn crits. So at the very least I can save the guts for another turn and that's that could matter quite a bit. I'll roll the dice with the crits here and get her NP up again. Ah, damn crit! Please stop critting like this. Um. See, I'm right now. I'm wondering if I should use the guts right now or the next turn, because I might not survive to live to the next turn if I don't use the guts. Uh, but if I use the guts now and survive to the next turn, then I'm screwed anyway. If at that point, because I have no heals. So yeah, I'll just roll the dice now, and if I lose this turn, then I lose this turn. Ma <laughs> And yeah, you know, it's, it's like this is my first time streaming this attempt, but I've experimented with this fight about three or four times before throughout the week just to see if, figure out what strategy works. So if I end up failing here, I'll be pretty happy to give up knowing that I at least gave it a fair shot. I think that's about that. So I 
about expected. Now so now what I'm hoping is that with She's gonna have 10k HP this turn, and she'll gain another 1.75k next turn. But both turns she can tank the entities that are gonna happen, one in each turn. We'll see, that's... That's where uh, the real danger lies. about two, a little over 2k damage, so theoretically she should be able to handle this. Right, so actually so far this run's going a little better than I thought uh, like 5-10 turns ago. I thought I was getting close to losing the whole thing, but... Well, I still might be, but um, I've got gotten a little further than I expected. Let's see, so I'm gonna get healing for. Is it just this turn or is it one more turn? Yeah, so the healing's going out. Yeah, what I'll do is... I'll do some crits, or I'll try to do some crits anyway. We'll see how that goes. Nice! That is lucky. I'm really glad. Didn't get attacked even once. The arc chain. So here's what I'm figuring that she'll survive until next turn. Which point I can pop the guts. She'll survive the next NP. Uh, defense buff would have been really nice. So damage buff. Yeah, almost 5 6 of the way done with the first ghost. About what I expected. Now I need her to tank that NP with 4.75k. You know what? I'll go for the arts chain. And now I am greater than 5 6 of the way through the first ghost. Good. Now I'm pretty sure I do need to use this, but the good thing is next time I'll be able to use the dodge. And yeah, she can tank the NP with the amount of HP she has, and I'll try to get the arts chain. 
uh, or try to loop her NP using the arts chain. So the arts chain part actually doesn't help, it's just the lots of arts parts. Alright, tanked it. I think she gets one more turn of healing. Yep, Alright, so I have fallen into a fairly good cycle. It's just the cycle keeps getting broken up. And if I make it to the front ghost dying, then I should add an another new wrinkle that I'll have to figure out. But We'll cross that bridge when we get there. I don't think it'll be that different, to be honest. It'll just mean one less NP to deal with. Which is strictly a good thing. Nice. I like it when they use their heals, even though in the long term it can be annoying. Uh, I'll go I can always get the NP up next turn. Yeah, so I am somewhat dependent on RNG again. Where if the enemy keeps critting a lot, then I'm liable to die, like that. But if the enemy keeps healing itself, then that's what it's good for me. And I don't think I need to use the guts yet and I'll go for straight damage which should also be enough to get her NP up because of the two arts cards yep. now, if I get really unlucky and the enemy crits all three times that might do me in but okay Didn't crit even once Nice, got the defense buff as well. And yeah, I'll just go for trying to loop the NP. I wish her NP had more hits on it, that would be just killer. Imagine if it had like 5 hits per enemy, or even something crazy like 10, that would just make her an NP looping monster. Ah, okay, so guts activated. Should be able to tank the next hit. Oof. Okay, yeah, so should be able to tank the next hit at this point. Or do I want to use the abate now? Yeah, I'm out. I want to use the evade now, and then I'll tank the next NP. That way the evade will refresh a little earlier. That's what I'll do. And this should at least come close to getting her NP up. Maybe I should have gone for the crits. The damage. Because without crits, I knew it wasn't going to get her NP up. Oh, actually it does because of the skill. So now she should be able to tank the NP fairly easily. Uh, though this also raises the question, when do I use the heal? I think I should have used the heal then. Well, I think the timing on the heal is actually flexible enough that one turn isn't going to make or break this. But I could have used it earlier. Ah, damn crit! Stop critting! Yeah, definitely need to use it though, or else not gonna make it to the next round of NPs. Oh, NPs. Gonna do another NP. 
So I did use the dodge, which means I can't use it for the next one, so... <sighs> yeah, this might... Well, I've said this multiple times that I might be very close to dying. And again, I mean it. And again, let's see how this goes. I'll try my best to survive, but I'm not sure about the next round of enemies. Maybe I should have gone Buster Arts Arts, but the Buster didn't have any crits on it. So I guess it, just guess it didn't end up mattering. The next turn they don't crit, thanks to the doubling up of the crit down diva at the end here. We'll see. It's gonna be very helpful if it turns out to be the case. More than 90% of the way there for the front ghost. Ah, damn crit. Right, now I definitely have to activate this. Nice, got all of them activated. And I guess I'll go for that. So I think if I'm lucky, she might not need to activate the guts on this turn. Which would prove to be very much. If that's how it turns out. Let's see. Okay, yeah, no. That means I might not need to use guts this turn either with the self heal. Yeah, that's both the damage and the crits, and also that should be enough to get. Oh, yeah, that's definitely enough to get only yeah, because of the skill, the passive, and the also the crit. Level. Um, so yeah, I still have the guts. That thing's gonna NP. I have the NP up. Yeah, thanks to the heal, she should definitely be able to tank the first two hits before the final guts, uh, the final ghost NP hits. Nice. Yep. Oh, it didn't even need the guts, but actually the guts would have been nice there. Damn it, the guts would have been really nice there. <laughs> oh shit. That was very unlucky. The guts would have been very nice there. But I think as long as the enemy doesn't crit too much, I sh can survive or one more turn, so that she... I can use the heal. <sighs> Man. Of all the ways for RNG to fuck you, right? By giving you... giving the enemy too little damage when it's attacking you. Ah. Yeah, well, that's part of the problem of um, trying to solo a match like this without really knowing what you're doing like me. Or, as in, I don't really know what I'm doing. Because, just when in... The longer it goes, the more the RNG can stack up and fuck you. Okay. So 
So I think I'll be able to use the dodge for one of the enemy NPCs. Yeah, I can use it for the front ghost NP. He also throws got a lot of time that's gonna be troublesome. And the attack buff. Yeah, I think she can Yeah, unless the enemy crits three times in a row, which Actually, I think even if the enemy crits three times in a row, it should be anchorable. Unfortunately, it didn't. So even better. Nice. Got the defense buff. And the attack buff. Or, I guess it's NP damage buff, technically. Alright, the front ghost has 300k, uh, 300k, okay. I should take, but I'm still continuing at like a 45k per, and yeah, it's like, should take like 6 more turns. Activate the guts. Let's activate that. And yeah, I can use the dodge next turn. So yeah, let's try going for straight damage. So from got 200k. How much will the Buster Arts Arts do? Anyway, it's too bad she doesn't have any actual damage. So a little over 50k. So. Four of those, or three more of those, we do it. Dodge. So, the NP should, yeah, do... Actually, it's less than 30k, the NP, when it's completely unbuffed like this. I think it's like 27k. So, oh, actually, what? It's more than 30k? Did I just get a good roll? I'm not sure. I guess it's, it's like almost 33k per enemy. Nice. Uh, yeah, they do heal for themselves. Ah, it's gonna be close. I think I run out of the healing this turn. So I think she did about 60k with the NP chain, NP Arts Arts chain, so I think she will do another 60k in that range, which means the front ghost will be left with about 30k. Alright, it's going close. Kind of want to capture the last moment when the ghost is still alive, but I'm also I also might die. I think I should be able to tank one more turn and enough to heal. But actually, I might not need that until yeah, this might work. Let's do that. That's the most damage and best odds for crits as well. Oh wow. Okay, got one. <laughs> That's 136 turns, so the other two should take less time, but they should still take a decent amount of time. So, so in this one now, actually I can use the guts Yeah, I'm going to use the guts now, because I don't need to make sure it lasts another three turns. Because the ghost that is going to NP at that point is no longer NP. So 
this should, like I said earlier, I believe this should be somewhat easier, but that's, I haven't actually ever been this far, so I don't know. And it's often that reality doesn't match theory, so we'll see how things go. I'm gonna try to be, still be cautious. But, alright, so at this, they have about 5.2 million. So yeah, which means I stripped away about 1.4 million, 1.5 million really. In the process. So, yeah, 1.1 million obviously is still quite a lot. Let's see. With the defense buff. Yeah, I want to use that heal now. Yeah, because I don't want the guts. Yeah, I'll use the heal now. Because... I want absolute... Because I don't have the guts anymore and I'm... Quite sure, even without the extra heal, she should have had it, but should have been precarious anyway, and I think I might have ended up using the heal the next turn anyway. In which case, that would just been a waste of a turn. And this is the kind of fight I definitely don't want to waste a turn. Gonna have ten K. So she'll have her NP up next turn. Yeah, not having that third NP to worry about really helps. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, I guess most of this fight's pretty boring in terms of just, it's all about getting that arch brave chain, and he fights arts brave chain specifically, and the arts, the regular arts brave chain in a lot of the other turns. So I don't want to use the NP now, or the first skill now, but I will use it one turn later. This will get her NP up, and I will be able to use her first skill next turn along with her NP, so that'll be good. Ah, 1000, damn. That would be a nice, all of them propped. And just try to lift the MPs. Let's see, if we pause it, I, I'm gonna take another. I'm gonna continue at the same clip of around 45k per turn. For that would mean that I still have about 110-ish turns left before I kill the next ghost. Which means I'll be at about 250. We'll see if my prediction comes true. I'll be at about 250 for that. Still got the guts up. And... Can we use that now? Uh, yeah, I'll use that now. And... Let's see if I can... Make some crit stars and maybe get some crits as well. Oof, definitely getting the NP out. Nice, got the crit. Alright, take the NP. 
They still got the guts up. Maybe I want. No, I need to use this now because I want to be able to use it as early as I can. Because, yeah. I was thinking maybe I should save it for an, the next turn. Because I th think the guts is going to activate in any case. But the cooldown on that is long enough that I want to have that cycled as quickly as possible. No, I'm not sure if oh, we've had a Maya Sakamoto song on the playlist from up here. But obviously fitting for this thing who's involved. Okay, so the guts didn't proc. Uh, yeah, that's another case where guts would have been nice. I definitely need the heal. Just kind of getting screwed in a, a lot of ways by the RNG, but that's fake go in a nutshell, right? Okay. That. Yeah, that really should be. Uh, the tagline, screwed in all sorts of ways by the RNG. Alright, so I do have a dodge to use for one of the NPs, so that's going to be very important. Yeah, very important right now. Oof, wow, so... I guess... I have managed to make it so far, obviously, beyond whatever hurdles that I thought we ran into. There were some that... there were a, a number, at least three, maybe four, that I was pretty sure we were done for, but... Da Vinci, good old Da Vinci, NP1, level 90, no gold foes, just regular old and level 90 NP1 Da Vinci. Plain vanilla, you might say has so far pulled it off. Let's try that, make some crit stars and maybe get some crits. Come on. Yes, wow, got the quick crit, but unfortunately didn't get enough to get full NP bar. I'll use the guts next turn along with the NP. Go straight damage. So I'm pretty sure... Yeah, if the enemy crits three times in a row, that might kill it, but I think even then, I have at least a little bit left. Nice, no crits. So this is a case where I might, it might be good to get the guts ac activated. That's one of the problems with getting the defense buff activated, because that makes it less likely that the guts is. Even though, ooh nice, even though it's, you want to have the defense buff anyway after the guts, because obviously just surviving the guts isn't good enough, it's not over. Nice, okay. Activated the guts. Yeah. Should be able to tank. Or actually, yeah, let's use the dodge. Yeah, I'll use the evade now. That'll help. I can save the heal for the next round of NPs. And for now... We should get our MP up fully. Yeah, 
Yeah, avoiding any damage at all this turn is very huge, very helpful. Still need to survive this turn. But I think should do fine. So she'll have, what, 6,500 after the auto heal. Alright. Yeah, that defense buff. Very nice. Alright, do I use that? Yeah, I'll use the MP charge. Get another. Yeah, the timing of the NP charge here is pretty uh, w good because it allows me to NP right, right after basically their round of NPs when I'm low on health because of that, and this helps prevent them from critting. And obviously RNG is gonna RNG through it anyway. It's happened many times already, but it generally does help <clears throat> prevent those. Annoying crits. Yeah, so even without any crits, she should be able to get her NP up here. Uh, I do like this song. Like twice the Japanese or Korean girl group. Ah, like that. At the crit. Maybe I should have saved the MP for next turn. And done it. Used, used it along with the gut skill. But yeah, it's actually not that big a deal. Not losing out on that much. Damage. Right, so there's full MP. That's up. It turned out to be irrelevant anyway because I didn't get the NP damage boost up, but the defense up is up, um, which might mean she might not get the guts. I'm not sure. It'll be close. But which means I can now she will get the guts. I think even with this, she will get the Guts. Or, by get the Guts, I mean Guts will get activated. Go for straight damage there. I actually wasn't expecting that. Nice. I Dead. That worked out perfectly. Right here, right here. All right. I'm noticing there's uh, now more distance between the two ghosts. So the third ghost at the back has like 4.9 million versus mine's. The front one's at 
Quite like this, I feel like if I didn't use that heal now, I either would have saved it for like several turns later, or just died without ever having used it when I had the chance. So, between that, I just want to be aggressive about using the healing because just the cooldown remains the same always. I don't get anything for saving it up. Actually, use the dodge. Uh, I'll do it. But I won't use the NP now. Nice. It's a good crit. Buster crit. Ah, that's not a good crit. Damn yeah, enemy using the crits. And here is. Well, I'll use this. Yeah, I'll use. Nice, got all of them. And the damage. And. Try to cycle the MP. And then next turn, I'll use the dodge. And I'll still have the guts remaining then for the next turn after that. When the front ghost will have its MP up. Okay, so so far, uh, dealing with two ghosts, I gotta say, is, as I expected, easier than dealing with three ghosts. Even though they do the same amount of turns, same amount of moves, just having one fewer MP makes a uh, significant difference actually in terms of the difficulty. So I use the dodge now and then I still have the guts remaining. Yep. And I'll be able to end the next turn. Almost down to the technical halfway point, which would be 3.3 million, but the halfway point for this ghost after I beat the previous ghost, I believe, is going to be like 2.7 million. Because I think it was at like 5.4 million. Alright, so now it, this guy's... Yeah. So I need to use this for the cooldown. So yeah, again the guts is not going to proc. Which is annoying. Yeah, again, the guts is not gonna proc, but I will get the healing, which should work. Yeah. I think I'm gonna come dangerously close to dying the next few turns. I'm not sure, but that's what I'm expecting. Well, with the defense buff, actually, the this MP, yeah, they'll save it from doing a lot of damage. Okay, got lucky there. The guts is gone now, but I am charging MP okay. and <laughs> HP, more importantly. I think I'll, I can manage to save the Mystic Code heal for the, after the next round of MPs. Even though I don't have the defense buff. Ah, it's gonna be close, we'll see. Depends on how aggressive I wanna be. Is it 5.4 million? I don't remember. It's in that range. I've done over a million at least. Nice, got the crit miss.
をつけたものかな任せて<笑>オッケー Yeah, this isn't, doesn't maximize potential damage, but it does make a decent amount of quick stays. Ooh, nice. Got, got a couple uh, lucky crits, too. So now I can use the guts. And I might want to use the healing after the first of the enemy NPs here. Depending on. Yeah, I, think, uh, I, I don't recall if the um, defense buff activated. Yeah, good. Okay, so most likely she's not going to need the guts. I'm not sure if that'll get her NP up this turn, actually. No, it won't. It's not that Okay, the guts actually, yeah, it will activate, which is not bad as far as things go. So here, use the heal, use this heal. She should be able to tank the NP just fine without getting too low. And she'll keep getting more healing with the skill through the next this turn and the next one. Uh, although I didn't, I don't remember if any of them had crit stars on it. Okay, good. The defense buff is down though. Um, get the NP up for next turn. And yeah, so now the second ghost is more than, is, has less than 50% of its original. So this should stack the enemy crit down, so it should help. Man, I, I honestly don't have the will to go back and see this video and see how many times she enemies, but I would guess at least half the turn she does, which would mean at least almost 90, maybe 90, uh, for all I know, in that range. Times that she's NP'd, but I don't know. I could do a random sampling or something like that. Okay, that's. I don't want to use, her, use the. I don't want to use the first skill in the NP just yet. But yeah, next turn I can use the guts along with the NP. Got all of them to proc. Which means, yeah, thanks to the defense buff, actually, again, the guts might not be needed. I think overall I might be. So I'm, I'm healing myself at a rate that makes the guts just barely not needed, but it's, not, it's very. Or maybe that's not the right way to put it. It's, like it's just barely needed, maybe. <laughs> Because if without the guts, obviously I would have been dead a long time ago in this fight. Okay, so that's I got the guts. That's gonna. Okay. 
That. I think that should get it to sub three million. Yeah, oh yeah, he's mm -mm. So here again, I think the guts might not end up being needed. But I want to use that. Uh, do I use the dodge now? Yes, I do use the dodge now. I think. The dodge has such a long cooldown that maybe it's not even worth paying attention to. But, I think. I'm definitely going to have more chances to use it. So. And this is at a very useful time to use it. And very effective time, I also I should say, in terms of what I imagine is the potential for future outlook. Changing it either, changing the trajectory either positively or negatively. Uh, I don't think I want to use the attack buff here. Yeah, try to cycle that MP. Hmm. I wonder, maybe I should use a Buster and the Arts Chain. Because that's what should do the most damage. And I think that might still be enough for me to cycle the MP very quickly. Because she just has so many ways of charging MP. I'm going to try experimenting with that for now, actually. Yeah, I'm gonna. She's gonna be able to make it until. So I'm not gonna have to use the heal until after the ghosts end here. Not sure which of the end is one of them. Wanna you save? Um, yeah, I wanna save the guts. Actually, here's a case where I'll use this for now. Because I wanna have the NP up next turn, and if I use the Buster NP arts next this turn, I definitely don't get the uh, NP up next turn. Ah. Okay. Right, get the guts up. I didn't get the MC damage up anyway. Turned that to be a moot point. Well, let's try that. It'll certainly do the most damage. So 2.8 million, let's say, or 2.805 million. Holy cow, she just did almost 110k. I mean, more than 100k is always something to be pretty jazzed about, I'll say. Alright, so she'll definitely use the guts this turn. Yeah, so... That. Hope for a few crits. A crit or three here would be very welcome. Nice. So, and 
I think now's oh, as good a time to use the heal as any, so she's gonna get 10k. Oh, well. So, it occurred to me I should have done the Buster Arts arts, plus Ramsey arts, but since those arts are the ones that have the crit on it, let's not do that. Although, with the 20%, most likely result just happened, which is no crit. 64% likely that there are no crits. So the enemy seems pretty happy to crit. Like that, damn it. I'll go for that. And then maybe I should have gone for the arch chain so that I could end up chain, but I think not in pink can. Didn't get any crits. Yeah, I need to stop rolling the dice uh, so much, I guess, on the crits. On these low percentage crits. Well, here I, I know I'm gonna get the NP charged, so... No need to use the Arts Chain. Uh, I think I got that So, and also at this point I have crossed the 50% threshold for the second ghost after the first ghost has died. Because, like I said, I'm pretty sure the second ghost had 5.4 million in that range. And now at sub 2.5 million. I predicted I would kill that ghost at about around 250, turn 250, and so far it seems to be playing out. Let's see. Let's see how high my clairvoyance rank is. Oh, again, I f forgot I should have done Buster Arts. Uh, Buster NP Arts. Ah. Okay, so got the NP, I got the guts up. With the defense buff, I think she won't need the guts. I guess we'll be fine. Again, once you get sub 3000, using the guts is actually pretty good. I wonder if I can roll the dice and wait one turn to use this. I just. Yeah, no, I can't. I need to have that saved. So, I'm gonna keep healing. I got the guts. Try that. 2.38 million. If I get anywhere close to the how much I did last time, it should be less than something like 2.27. Right, so not quite as much as last time because I didn't get some crits, I think. I need the heal now, yeah. Unfortunately, I should have used the heal the last turn. Oh well. But so far, the... I've managed to make it through despite making a, a lot of mistakes. And of course, when you're 
doing a fight that's taking almost 200 turns now, there's a lot of opportunities to make mistakes, and I have made right there. And, but there has been enough slack in the fight that I can get away with the mistakes that I'm making. Obviously, I've gotten away with them. Yeah, somebody had a MP2 or a MP5 division. This is a solo that would be way quicker. It is too bad that in this game you can't just do these old fights again at any point if you want. It would be so so nice, so fun to be able to revisit them at any point. Let's get the MP up actually. 30% crit chance just isn't. Worth. Although I guess starting with the bus trade just meant more damage. 2.2 mil. Can you see. That's no. But cooldown's 5, right? Yeah, it's 5. Use the guts next turn. I th I'll do that. I'll use the guts next turn. Yeah. Yeah, and I'll try to get the crits here. Uh, maybe I should have saved the MP, but I've already mentioned that. Losing out on a bit of the damage here, it's not too big a deal. Manage. What I'm going to do here is activate both the guts and the dodge because I want the dodge on cooldown and I'll have the guts ready well within before I need it the next time. And Okay. Yep, go for straight damage because I'll get the NP up anyway. Right. Yeah, so there's no chance of guts activating. Right. I think. Well, we'll see. Without any crits, it, is, it might not happen. But should get close to getting sub two million now. Almost there to getting the se second ghost. That would only leave one more ghost with still more than half its original HP left. Way more than half. Alright, again, go for straight damage. And yeah, I didn't even do 50k that last turn, even with the Buster MP last turn. Man, that AoE MP, right, really is annoying. Or, I use annoying too much, I use that term too much. But, really, it's the fact that She's AoE and thus has a weaker NP than a single target one. This means uh, 
Makes the fight take longer. I guess early on it works okay because you got three enemies on the field, but then at the end you only got one enemy, so it doesn't matter. Imagine if Kirike had a healing skill, she'd be a good candidate with capable of doing this. Alright, so I need to use Guts next turn. I think I can survive until next turn. Do you think I need to do a better job of timing the her NPs with the guts? Because obviously the, that skill has multiple functions, uh, and I'm primarily using it for the defense, which I need to. But I can make it synchronized with the offense as well, in which case that just helps a lot in terms of the amount of damage you can Okay, I'll move to the okay, in that case. Doesn't matter too much. Uh, yeah, let's try that. This way I won't get the NP fully up, but Oh, okay I will. Crit. <laughs> nice, I wasn't expecting that with the ten percent. Yeah, I was thinking I'll save the NP charge skill for next turn. So she'll definitely activate the guts. Even with the defense bow. Yep. And I will activate her middle skill and I'll heal. Guts is gone. Yeah, I need all the healing now to tank the NP. And oof. It would be nice to if some of those crit stars went to the buster. Some of a well, I mean, I have both of them crit, but nope. All right, I have one of them crits then. Kind of wish there was a way for servants to have selectively have AOE or single target NPs in this game. Does it kind of make sense that a servant having a single type and being stuck with it? Makes sense as a differentiator. It's because every servant's unique, and having a limitation like that to differentiate it from all the other servants. All right. uh, let's use the crit stars. See, roll those dice. I don't need to use the arts chain now. Oh, nice! Got the crit. A Buster crit. Cut two crits! Nice! Very lucky roll of the dice. Let's save the guts for another turn, but I can get the NP up. I think that should get her NP up. If one of them crits, definitely. If not, then it'll be close. 
Oh, nice. Okay. One of them did crit. Wow. The crit RNG gods are smiling my way to, at this point. Earlier on, they were, seemed to be quite unhappy with me. But right now, they seem, they seem to be rewarding me, so thank you. Try that. Extra damage. 1.65. Maybe we could get it down to like 1.55. Oh, wow. Less than 1.55 million. Yeah, that was about 110k again this time. Okay, so we've got the guts, got the defense buff. Okay. Yeah, not getting. I'm not gonna get that NP up with the arts chain. Because with an arts chain, I think it's about 55%, 56, 7 maybe in that range. And that includes the art, the 23, 20%. Should I use the dodge now? Yeah, now's a good time to use the dodge. And let's do that too so I can just use the NP. <sighs> okay. Uh, let's do Oop. <laughs> Yeah, let's do that. That if that crits, it'll gain a decent number of amount of NP anyway, regardless of the order. Obviously, starting with the art, Arts card would have maximized it, but still will ma make a lot or get a lot of NP charge, and we'll do a lot more damage. So we we'll worry about a lot more damage. Nice, that was good. That was good. a lot of damage. I'll save the heal for after the next round of MPs. This should get her MP up. I think that's fine. I think I'll, I can. She can get her NP up in time for me using the guts. It'll be good to time that together again because that does provide a big chunk of damage at once. And I think using that, uh, timing that properly, a bunch can make a significant dent in how long it takes. How long this fight takes, actually. So I'm gonna try to focus on that too, because uh, now I think I've kind of gotten into a good rhythm. I'm, I can't. I, I need to make sure I don't lose focus for the healing too. But I think I've generally figured out how to approach it. So this should come close to charging her in Oh, okay, with the crit, it'll just fully charge her. Oof. Just lucky crits all over the place. Along with the enemies, lucky crits. Doesn't matter. Because the MP damage up didn't trigger. But at least I'll get extra defense. Which, to be honest, I actually don't want because I want the guts to work. 
我が英知我が万能はあらゆる英知を凌駕する不毛のウニベルサールまだまだ行くよレオナルド・パーチの尻さまえ So, I think I'm pretty sure the NP won't trigger the guts, but I think if he, all of the enemies attacks that turn should. Okay, it'll be close with the defense. Part. Oof, okay. Well, now in that case. In that case, I think I have a pretty good shot at the guts triggering here. So I'm gonna roll those dice. I'm gonna give that a shot. And I hope the guts triggers. If not, then I've got a heal to rely on, fall back on. Let's see. トーホーのサンハクス国王の大臣知恵の果実我が英知我が万能はあらゆる英知を凌駕する不毛のウニベルサーレまだまだ行くよレオナルドパーチ尻様へ勝ったこれガッツガッツ勝ったこれガッツガ
我が万能はあらゆる英知を凌駕する不毛のウニベルサーレまだまだ行くよレオナルドパーチウニベルサーレウニベルサーレウニベルサーレウニDo something a little. Ah,、uh, actually, you know what? So, since I got the dodge, I got to use. I can use the. Nah. Yeah, so I can use the guts a little earlier because of the dodge. Now, let's try that. Charge the MP. So, yeah, that, that'll definitely get her NP fully charged. Even without the crit, that would have been the case. And. Her first skill, though, I don't think is ready. Yeah. And that was very unlucky, <laughs> just there. Crits. I think she. Well, with the heal, she should survive the next turn just fine. Saving her NP for the next turn when she can use it along with the first skill. <laughs> damn it! Stop it with those damn crits, guys! Wow, that came so close. Alright, so I got the guts and the NP damage up. So, but. Yeah, that guts is gonna proc right away.、Ah, it's fine. And I'll roll the dice on those crits. Man, I'm in a bad spot though. This is、uh, not good. The next round of MPs、uh, will be a big hump to get over. The fact that they're desynced is so annoying. As far as I can tell, there's no way to sync them back together. Yeah, I need to use the heal now. I can tank the next round without. Without using guts. With one dodge, I should be able to manage this. The dodge now. Just gets it off cooldown earlier, and I don't think it really matters between when I use it, which NP. If I get beyond the second ghost, it's gonna be such a relief not having two different NPs to deal with. I think I'm gonna have to go back to using the、um, NP Arts Chain because I think I'm having a harder time cycling the NP, and without cycling the NP as often, the ghosts are critting more often.、And、that's definitely actually making a difference. So, for defensive reasons, I wanna go with the NP Arts Arts Chain.
Don't do this. Use the Arts Chain. She will get her MP fully charged. I'll use it next turn and then use the MP charge to cycle again for turn after. I think that'll work. Alright, go ahead and keep healing yourselves. That's. I can use a little break myself. Alright, almost to sub 500k. Less than half a million for that second ghost. Ah, damn crit, but at least that helped get her up to 50% MP. So I won't use her MP now, but I'll try to get a crit. She'll be able to survive whatever they throw at her for this turn. Come on, give me a crit. Ah, no crits. Damn it. So yeah, I need to use the guts. Nice, all perfect cut, and uh, I'm gonna try to cycle that NP. Alright, enemy's got the NP up, I got my guts. And if the guts procs, that would actually be pretty good. And. An arts chain. Uh, I think that'll get her NP up, I'm not sure. Yeah, it does. Actually, earlier in the stream I said she does like 55, but I think it's more like 65. Oh no, just a little. It's like 60? A little less than 60. Ah, okay. Huh, so now. Because I don't want them to get desynced any further, I need to use this heal so that she tanks that first hit. And let's try to cycle that in here. Now I can use the heal and should survive until the next round of MPs. Use the arts chain to get the MP up again. And take fewer than seven turns from me. Still healing, still getting. Alright, so at the rate that I've been going, which is around 45 to 50k per turn, I think. Take another 5 or so turns, maybe 6 or 7 in that range, to get rid of the second ghost. Just, you know, it will be a pretty nice accomplishment and it will also make the rest of the fight a lot easier. Yeah, I'll use that now. Can't 
use the MP yet, but do some straight damage with yeah, less than 200k left. Ooh, nice. Good crit. Guts now, yes I can. Yeah, I'll use the guts now. Nice. Got all the buffs. And this time I will use the Buster NP Arts Chain. Ooh, nice! With the crit? I'm. Even with the crit, I don't think I can actually kill outright kill that ghost but it's gonna be yeah do a good chunk of damage it might actually be pretty close all right yeah that's basically one turn away sub 100k huh okay still got the guts up no other skill available though So this should come close to getting her NP up. Come on, is that gonna kill it? It's gonna be close. Yes! Okay, second ghost down. Okay, so earlier I predicted that I would kill that second ghost at around 250. Turns out it's actually was 241, so close. I guess I was going at a slightly faster rate than I thought. So now it's at around 4.2 million. Let's see. So I'll be able to use the dodge for the next NP. And I only have one NP to deal with, so that's very nice. Alright, so assuming I'm going at like around a 4.5 or 45k, it's still another 90-ish turns, let's say. Which means I think I might be able to end it at around turn 320, 330. Yeah, 330 in that range. So that's my prediction right now, around 330. Means we're uh, still a only a little over two-thirds of the way there, really. Should be able to survive the next turn. Um, let's see, actually, I think I'm gonna start doing some counting on how much each kind of chain does, just to see which ones are the best ones to use. So, we 130k, the NP arts arts without any buffs. So that's at about 70k, so that's, that's actually a good chunk of damage. And also now I'd like to see how much a Buster Arts, Buster NP Arts chain does. First, here I, I'll be able to use the buff. Ah, so I don't get the NP damage buff. So 70k. So if it did exactly as much as the earlier chain did, it would, it would leave it with exactly 4 million more, well, exactly more or less, but yeah, right around 4 million. So 4 million will be sort of the benchmark. Hmm. Okay, so maybe because with the, it's without the crit, so the crit mattered quite a bit. <sighs> yeah, with 
make the defense buff do fine. And so a Buster Arts Arts. So 34k. No crits. It's about 40k. Okay, no crits, Buster Arts Arts this 40k. So it's, it's another 40k, that should mean 3.964 million in that game. In that range. I think she'll get her NP up because of the passive one from the skill. So for the next ghost NP, I'll need to have the guts ready because that's the only defense I'll have. And yeah, let's try to cycle. So, so I should expect Okay, so so yeah, that, that was also another like 66k in that room, 68k. Ah, maybe I should have tried to go for the crit. Well, it was like a 20% crit chance, too low to really care about. But what I'll do is, I'll have the MP ready this turn and I'll be able to use the MP along with the first go. The guts will still be there for the enemy MP. Let's try to cycle that MP more. Buster Arts Arts, because this will, it'll get, get the NP up anyway, and I'll get more damage. Uh, come on, yeah, that, that the crit. And here, I'll try this. Yeah, I think mixing in the Buster NP Arts along with the within the NP Arts Arts chains actually makes sense. Sometimes it's an opportunity time to do it for some extra damage. You can roll the dice with some crits, but it looks like I didn't get any crits this time. Alright, because of the defense buffs, it just uh, didn't even need the guts. I'll save the... yeah, I'll save the Mystic Code heal for the next NP. And let's try to get that NP up again. I think because of... well, no, even with the passive NP game, I think... 
I won't be able to get the enemy. Yeah, not quite. So close. Yeah, I can do that. Oh, this is the most damage, and that should do about 40k. Yeah, we'll do 40k every turn, that would be... Yeah, about 90 turns. So it's a good thing I'm averaging more than 40k per turn. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna save the guts for the next turn. So meanwhile, let's just do that chain. Next turn should be when I my theoretical max damage. If that's only if the NP damage buff of the first skill activates, because I have this uh, Mystic Code damage buff. So, okay, good. Got activated. Got the guts. Got that. And let's go through that. So, 592. 592, 592. I mean, 70k would be 522. It means if I have anywhere less than 522. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay, so that means did about, yeah, 110k. That, that's a good amount. I uh, still got the guts. And... Yeah, let's fish for that crit. It's, uh, it's not so much a roll of the dice as a flip of the coin at 50%, right? Ah, one miss crit and one hit crit. That's annoying. I still got the guts. They will NP. And let's try to cycle that NP. So I think that will activate the guts. Yep, it did. Let's get some healing. Let's get some healing this way. And I'll be able to use the evade for the next time. Almost down to 50% for this ghost. Although for 50% after I killed the first big ghost, but it would have to reach 2.1 million. This is right around 4.2. Let's do that. Although that'll make it a little harder to cycle the MP, but I think I'll be able to get it for within another two turns. Alright, yeah, sub 50%. Oh, Fish for these crits, because if I, I can always use the arts chain next turn to get my NP fully charged up. This will do more damage now.
Yeah, I think this. I think I can trust her to make 17% with the two arts cards and the extra. Just need 17%. Nice. Damage right at 3.2 million. So, oh, one million at a time, right? <laughs> Getting there, down to the last ghost. I'm uh, quite a bit further along than when I was at the beginning, <laughs> obviously. But you know, at this point, I'm definitely most of the way through, assuming I survive all the way. But clearly I've demonstrated it's possible at this point. So I'll use the evade. Get the end of the charge. And... Yeah, I'll do that. I'll just do that. Even though the arts chain is not strictly necessary, I, I couldn't trust any other chain to fill her in This should cycle her MP fairly quickly, and now I will need to use her guts for protection. Against the next MP. Let's go for damage. I can always use the NP chain next turn, or Ar Arts chain next turn to fill her NP bar. Buster Arts Arts did about 22%. Good thing to know. Without any crits. So I'll be able to empty next turn along with using the guts. Yeah, okay, almost sub 3 million. Well, can we do it this turn? Yes! Of course, it might heal itself back, but still. Got all the effects. And let's try that. Fish for the crits. Alright, sub 3 million. That means, uh, yeah, after another million, that'll be sub 2 million. And, well, we'll be on the home stretch at that point. Or maybe already are, really. And... Yeah, let's try to charge that MP again. Yeah, by the time this whole thing's over, I might have ended up having seen her MP over 200 times, for all I know. That's kind of nuts. So that'll definitely get her NP fully charged. Yeah, just completely tanked it. 
Okay, let's charge. And let's use the heal. I'll save the attack buff for the next time she uses her NP with an activated first skill NP damage buff. I really want to stack that buff a lot. Point of NP back. Should be able to NP this turn then, huh? Uh, yeah. Because I don't want to use the NP along with the first skill until two turns from now. I think I can get her NP charged up for in another two turns. Even without the skill to her 50% self NP charge skill. I think that's the nice. The crit definitely helps a lot. Double crit. Oh yeah, this is gonna be easy. Do that. That'll guarantee a Buster Arts Arts would have done a lot more damage and would have gone very come very close and would have done it if the ghost attacked, but didn't want to risk the ghost not attacking. At least this ghost doesn't drain NP charge. Those ghosts are so annoying to deal with. This This fight doing this fight without Insta kill would have been really even that much more hellish than this already is. If that ghost, those ghosts were capable of draining NP, especially since my Da Vinci's only NP one. If I could overcharge, that would definitely help. It would still be hellish, but it'd be much less so. But without the ability to overcharge, that would be so bad. Wow. It might actually not be doable, for all I know, a solo. Okay. All of the skills are in cooldown for the next two turns. I got the guts, but no defense buff. I'll fish for the crits. You can always get the NP charge next turn and then it's Alright, still got the guts. It's gonna NP and I'll use the arts chain so that I can get my NP up. Oh wait, no, just missed. Okay, well, at least. Huh. Feel like I don't have a quite a proper handle on how much MP charge these uh, these chains give. But I think I might want to use the heal next turn when it comes off. Cooldown, I'm not sure I might need it in order to survive until the next round of the next enemy MP. Ah, damn crits. Alright, I think I might... yeah. Okay, the good thing is I can use the evade next time. Yeah, I'll use that to... <laughs> I think I might need that just to survive. And... And... That'll still get her NP charged. Okay, 
And because I'm using the evade, I don't need to save the dodge, uh, the guts for later. I'll use the guts now. Ah, didn't get the damage buff anyway. And, well, this way I can cycle my MP faster, I guess. How many turns am I at? Like 280? I did predict around 330. So far it's looking pretty much on track. Okay, yeah, I was almost at exactly 280. Huh? Cycle that MP again. Yes, yeah, cycling the MP really is the what I want to go for. Because even unbuffed, the, and even though it's AoE, it does do 30k. And no, none of the regular face cards come anywhere close to doing 30k. So. Although, animation-wise, it's slow, right? That's one thing that's annoying. So now it's got its NP up, you can use the evade, and this will get our NP back up. Yeah, I'm just gonna prioritize cycling that NP from now, that really is what I gotta go for. You do way more damage that way than using face cards. Which, I mean, I guess is a fairly obvious thing. That's one of the basic things you learn when you pl start playing the game, right? Just how useful an MP is. And just how much more powerful it is than a regular face card. But I guess recently I've gotten used to face cards being super powerful, in part because of Merlin and Hero Creation. But without that, yeah, the face cards just can't compete, even with the AoE MP. Damn crits! Stop critting! Ah, those crits are so annoying. Alright, so I need to save the... Fade for... Okay, so I think I'm gonna... I can get the MP back up. In time. Because I need to use the guts two turns from now, I believe. Which means I want to have my NP charge at that point, too. Gosh, it's... I know it's kind of tiresome, but just how often the enemy ghosts, enemy assassins crit is... It's, it's annoying. <laughs> I feel like they made the assassin crit rate just like really high, just obnoxiously so. Yeah, so now I can use the guts. Okay, he's got all the buffs. Do I have the... No, not the mystic card. Alright, 
almost uh, almost down to two million. Getting there. Chain. That should come close to getting her in. Crit crits, I think, that will get her in. Yeah, but, yeah. Far from the game. Yeah. Okay, got the NP up that way. Got the guts. Yeah, more NPing. So I don't think this will break the 2 million mark for, from this turn, but it should come close. Huh. So the guts turned out not to be needed here. Again, it would have been nice if the guts actually was activated in terms of more HP or more yeah, HP. So. so this will get her NP up, and that way I can NP next turn and then charge the MP again quickly using the enemy charge skill. Yeah. And so, two turns from now I'll have the guts up and I'll be able to MP along with it and I'll be able to use the mystic code damage buff along with it, which should do a good chunk of damage. I don't want to NP this turn, so actually I, I can charge up my NP again here, just using my face cards and the art screen instead of using the skill. This way I can save the skill for next turn. Yeah, I can't use the it. I use the guts. Nice. All the weapons. Activated. Okay. Right. 906. Yeah, it's gonna do a good chunk of damage. This might get uh, down to 1.8 million. Oh, gosh, I hope so. Nice. Crit. Yeah, that's sub 1.8 million. Ah. Knowing crit. Yeah, so she'll get her NP up again for sure. Nice. Got the crit. Whew. Having some good luck with the crits again. I guess when you fight for as long as I have in this fight, you just end up running into all the good and bad luck that you can, right? It's basically how luck works. 0.7 million. Oof. So, with luck, I should activate the guts. The enemy MP. 
But with the defense buff, that might not happen. That's okay. Yeah, next time I'll be able to use the dodge. So I'm gonna use the heal the next turn. So this is kind of a dangerous spot I'm in without the defense buff. Okay, okay. So Almost up to 300 turns. Man. Oof. Two crit misses and a full crit. Wow. That was very dangerous. Wow. If either of those crit misses... Holy cow. That was... Yikes. <sighs> right, um... Got the NP charged. And I sh yeah, I should be able to recharge it. For the guts, but... Yeah, I don't need to time the guts this time because I can use the evade. So I, I need to avoid that kind of situation next time. How can I do that? I have to be able to be more wary to see that coming. I mean... And a bad luck is very unlikely to happen, but I need to have a contingency plan for that, right? Another critical miss, and... An actual crit, damn it! I hate that so much! Alright, she'll get her MP up this turn. Then I'll be able to use the guts along with my MP. Ah, another crit. Yikes. The defense buff will help a lot. Okay, so 1.5 million. So I do expect I have about 30 turns left if I can manage to keep things going. So she should get her NP fully up, which is good. I wonder if it might be faster in terms of time, but slower in terms of turns. If I, instead of using the NP, I used different attacks, because... Yeah, the NP just takes so long. I've <laughs> gotten below 1.5 million now. Getting close to uh, sub 7 figures. gonna be uh, tough again here without the defense buff. Maybe I should have yeah, just let the guts happen. That would have been better. Yeah, it's kind of a difficult spot I'm in right now. Because I don't get the Mystic Code heal up until next turn. Or not next turn, but the turn after that. 
if I get some unlucky crits here, I could die. Oof, okay, got very lucky there. And... Yeah, that'll get her NP up. Ah. I think I can get away with not using that heal now. Can I? Yeah, I think I can, because I can use Guts next turn. And I'll use Guts next turn along with the NP, so I won't use the NP now. It almost feels like the enemy's crit rate is increasing as the fight goes, but I'm pretty sure that's just my perception. <laughs> No more healing. It's a good thing I got the defense buff up. And... Alright, so that'll at least lower the crit chance, but... Yeah, the defense buff will help quite a bit. But I'm pretty sure the guts will happen with the NP, which is fine, that's what I want. Ah, crit. Okay, at this rate, the guts might actually... Oof. Yeah, it might trigger the guts before. <laughs> this is bad. If Guts gets triggered, the, what I'll have to do is use the Mystic Code um, heal right after and hope that she can tank the... Ah, no. Yeah, this is what I have to do. And hope that she can tank the NP, which she should be able to, but if she crits, if the enemy crits a couple times, which is one reason why I'm using the MP now. That'll help prevent the enemy crit, hopefully. Okay, getting down to about a million now. Well, still over 100k. Alright, phew, survived that round. Um, Fish for the crits, I... No, this probably does a lot less damage than the Arts Chain does. This will at least make some crit stars. Hmm. Okay, I, I thought maybe it would at least get me full NP, but nope. Missed that. That's actually helpful right now, really helps me get my HP back up. Okay, let's go for straight damage. I can use the NP next turn along with the NP buff and the Mystic Code attack buff. Can use 
is. All the buffs to trigger, and let's try to cycle that NP. I don't think this will get under 1 million, but it should be close. Oh man. Alright, oh, it managed to get under 1 million. Wow, I didn't expect that. Yes. That's great. Alright, yeah, mark the turn when I cross the 1 million boundary for the last dose, which is 311. Should be close to 330 then, when, if and when I defeat this one. So I got the guts activated. Let's try to save that NP. I think this is a good time to use the Mystic Code Hero actually, right after that. And I can use the Evade for the next NP. And I think this should get her NP fully charged, so it's a 39, which means I would have needed 60. Ooh, just not enough. Oh, but with the straight blows. So it missed by 3, so it got 57 it seems. Okay, that seems to be the consistent number then. Okay, let's try to cycle that NP. 850k! Right, so mean maybe around 20 turns from now? In that range. Alright, so I'm, I'm liking how healthy the Vinci is being right now. Got plenty of HP. Got the evade for. Oh, I can use the. So I can. So I think this will charge her NP. And I can. That way, next turn, I can use the guts along with the NP for a lot of damage. Sub 800k! Use the evade, which means this now. And let's try to cycle that NP again. Nice, right, ar right around 700k now. Getting close. So let's debate the next turn. And yeah, it's the best brave chain I have. Keeps the damage. Next turn I'll use the evade. Okay, that'll help cycle. 660k, so 
I think she's healthy enough that she can get by with something in the MP, but just that. But speaking of MPs, I think I want to try to charge for an MP next turn. Which I, yeah, because of that skill, I think that's very doable. That NP. I'll be able to time the NP again with the guts damage. And yeah, we're getting down close to half a million. Yeah, so I, I should be able to get her MP up next turn. I think even without the skill, just the third turn would have done it with the... Obviously the other turn Ooh, nice! 500k! Yeah, 520k! So that should be like around 450k in that range. Yeah, right. Wow, I got it almost exactly right. But you guess, I guess. So yeah, I think I found a pretty good cycle that should work for the rest of the fight. It's getting close at this point, down to the wire, you know? Okay, it just heals itself now. Still got the guts. Yeah, it'd be good to try to cycle the NP again. Tohō no san haku, hokuō no taishin, jie no kajutsu. Waga eichi, waga banno wa arayuru eichi o ryōga suru. Uō no universale. Seidai ni kōka. Feel like I've seen that 30k come out a lot. In the general average damage, I guess. So now it's definitely a good time to use this Let's go for the crits. I can always charge my MP next turn. Turns. 
just try to do as much damage as possible with face cards for two turns and then use her MP. That's, uh, Is charged, yep. So. Okay, let's do 300k now. Yeah, let's uh, buff the hell out of him. Okay, so no defense, but. Okay, guess no defense is okay. Got the guts. Yeah. Hmm, maybe I should have done the Buster NP arts. But... I would like to see that 60k. It's double what I usually see on the MP. With all the, I guess with it being double buffed that way. Yeah, 172k. Okay, so she'll MP. Well, the ghost will MP next turn. I guess it is a she. I think all the ghosts in Karana Kyoka are she's. I don't recall exactly. I still have the guts, so I'll be able to eat the enemy MP. <laughs> Excuse me, I wasn't able to mute my mic, but I pulled my mic away for a moment. Alright, so I got the guts. At this point, I should be able to finish the fight within, say, three turns. But let's... I want to try to play it safe, make sure I don't die. Doing something stupid. I don't think I need to charge my NP again, so I'm gonna do this for damage. Again, I've got... I could use the dodge next turn to really prevent me from dying from three unlucky crits. If I got critted three times in a row. Alright, so it's okay. Right, so the guts is gone. Okay, so yeah, that's a pretty precarious position. Can use the dodge. And then use the heal next turn. And by then I'll it'll be over. I'll do that. Yeah. And yeah. So if I think even you know, even if I hadn't used the dodge, if unless the enemy critted three two or three times in a row. I would have been fine. Let's see what happens if the enemy would have heard it at least two times in a row. I might have dodged the bullet. Uh, no crit. One crit. Okay, yeah. I don't. I probably wouldn't have died from that. But did get to play it safe, and now I got plenty of HP. That amount of damage should be doable with just the Buster Arts Arts chain. I think this might be it. There might be some damage RNG involved. But... Oh yeah, no. Got it. Yeah, there you go. 332 turns. That's how long a Da Vinci solo lasted. Oof. Okay, so I'm almost done with the Kara no Kyoka event now. I'm just gonna finish it off with the 
rooftop battles, which I know are doable with Asagami Fujino just soloing with her, so that's what I'm going to do. But the challenge quest I think I'll save for tomorrow or something like that because I don't really have the energy right now to do another difficult quest. The next quests are like the, the rooftop quest with the ghost and even the one with Artoria Saber are not that hard. They're, Artoria Saber was kind of considered a challenge quest, but honestly, with as the games developed and the servants you get have gotten more powerful, including Asagami Fujino herself, have made such things not quite challenging. <laughs> 